So I'm here because Amber wants to play. And she's been sitting up here since we got here, and that's about all I know. But um, what I heard her say most recently when I came back in the room was, ask Abe to talk about purpose and what purpose can mean to me and what purpose can mean to any individual. Well, purpose will trip you up because purpose feels like an assignment. Mm -hmm. So you're always looking for your purpose when actually your purpose finds you. We've been saying for a while that the purpose of life is joy. Yes. The basis of life is freedom, mm -hmm. but the purpose is joy. The result is never ending expansion, mm -hmm. but people get that all mixed up. They think the purpose is expansion. Mm -hmm. So they think the purpose of life is expansion. Therefore I should try and offer effort at all costs mm -hmm. when their goal or their purpose is expansion. Then they disconnect from their awareness of their guidance system where if your purpose is joy, then you never disconnect from your awareness of where you stand. And then you experience the inevitable expansion. You see, you're so free. You can choose bondage. Mm, right. So freedom is really an interesting thing. You're so free that you can think whatever thought you want. You can establish any vibrational point of attraction that you give your attention to freedom. It just is. You are free. No one is vibrating for you. No one is emitting signals for you. All there is influence. But that's all about your giving your attention to something. It's about you tuning into it. In other words, it's like just because the radio station is broadcasting doesn't mean you have to hear it in your car. You got to turn something on and you got to tune to it. In other words, it's not asserting itself into your realization unless you do some tuning. So there are a lot of people that are doing a lot of tuning, not even knowing they're doing the tuning and then complaining about what they've tuned into and wanting it to go away. And we say, that's really going about it the hard way because now you've got to control the whole world and you can't, you don't even know what you want from the whole world. But when your purpose is joy, now you are at the place that you will tune yourself into the frequency that allows you all of this. We're glad that that was inspired to you. We're glad that you received that clarification because it's a really good place to insert something so poignant and perfect into this conversation. You are magnificent receivers of wonderful things, but most people don't know it. And so we want to find a way of soothing you into you letting the good stuff that you deserve and that you've been asking for and that you've identified come to you but you're hard to soothe because you've got so many preconceived notions of who you are and so many preconceived notions of what you should be doing that when we say to you that your singular work is to find a way to soothe yourself right now into letting all of the goodness in it doesn't seem enough for you because a lot of times you feel like you've been sitting there and it hasn't been coming but you've been sitting there in a resistant vibration and you don't need to do that anymore have you received any clarity at all today do you feel more ready to just be nicer to yourself and just allow more good things to flow to you? Yes. Do you feel less necessary to justify or defend or earn the well-being? Does it feel to you like the flood is flowing to you? Yes. And are you ready to bring the umbrella or the shield down and just let it flow? Yes. So what are the techniques that would allow that? Well, they are as simple as anything that feels good to you. It really is that. But let's talk about if your purpose is joy and the reason that it's a good thing for you to focus upon that being your purpose is because that means you've found a way to allow yourself to be the full and complete receiver of all of the wonderful things that you deserve and all of the wonderful things that you've become. Did you hear how big that statement was? I feel like I arrived. I feel like I'm now in the room. So <laughs> as that is your goal, what things can you think of that would more easily lead you there. Well, immediately I feel Amber again. When she left Earth, um, I felt her energy come into me and go out like this. And so I feel very comfortable like this. But I sometimes find that I'm like this. And so joy feels like this. So I immediately feel my energy shift to joy. So let's talk about the components that cause that to happen. So 
when somebody makes their transition and you can no longer look at them here now you're looking at them wherever you think that they and are and I can hear her and what there. were your preconceived notions about where she is I knew I would be able to hear her from the moment but she what left. were your preconceived notions about her state of being about where oh, she that is she would be in infinite wellness that she would return and so as you focused peace. upon that mm -hmm. just for a moment not in the missing of her but on oh, that absolutely. because her vibration was so dominant then you accomplished it too and maintained it for a long time and then something just has been the waking up isn't as buoyant I've said well you the, forgot your purpose yeah <laughs> that's why she wanted to remind you right you forgot your purpose what's your purpose joy and there are so many ways to find it what are some of the ways that you can find joy look around <laughs> there is so much to see but are those conditions Yes. maybe there are sometimes. joyful conditions so sometimes the conditions a little bit of a trap but what are the thoughts that always bring you joy do you have some of those in your pocket oh absolutely so get them out often and feel them feel those things that bring you joy and watch the list of them continue to expand mm, definitely and what will be the result of steady focus upon things that make you feel joyful what will be the result of that I feel like it cultivates an environment where you can receive because you're already it does in a that. place. It certainly does cultivate the environment. And so if the environment's been cultivated, then what happens? If you've created an atmosphere around you mm -hmm. that is non-resistant, then what happens next? Well, it went from bankruptcy to where we are, and I've just seen it keep going like that. So what goes. happens next? Expansion. The things that you've been asking for that you've put into your vortex begin flowing right. in a steady stream into your experience and so you call that manifestation we call that the natural rhythm so is that clear yes. you create the atmosphere of joy one way or another you just figure it out just figure it <laughs> out don't ask us how to do it look at stuff and it feels <laughs> joyful keep looking at it and if it doesn't look somewhere else and just keep looking around till you find things that feel good think thoughts until you find some that feel good and when you find some that feel good remember them remember them Esther found a new app she was so excited to find it because she spread out all over the place and the app is where is it <laughs> where is it and so well there it is so now where's my phone that has the app in it that says where is it where is it where is it well she wants to remember where she's put things and we want you to remember the things that you found here so what's the purpose of life joy and where do you find that well you got to kind of look for it at first but you find it in not complicated places don't look for it in those hard relationships and don't look for it in the government don't look for it there <laughs> and don't look for it on CNN either in other words look for it in logical places look for it in nature you'll Outside. always That's find it there outdoors, look yeah. for it in sure places in other words look for it where you think it might be look for it where you think it might be and why are you looking for it where you think it might be because you want to find it don't look for it where you're not going to find it look for it where you're very sure that it's going to be <laughs> where are you going I'm looking for joy where is it it's around well how are you going to find it I'm looking in all the easy to find places I'm looking in the logical places when you go into your kitchen and you need a frying pan do you look in the refrigerator for it you look in the waste basket don't you look in the logical place for it don't you kind of pretty much know where things logically are mm -hmm. we know you live with some unreasonable people and sometimes things aren't where they logically should be <laughs> we know that every analogy is a little off in some ways so what's the purpose of life and are there easy to find places of that and is it a manifestation that is evident to you can't you feel it and what happens when you focus upon something for just a little while easier momentum ensues and it becomes bigger and so isn't it logical that if you look for joy and find it and care about it and acknowledge it that you would feel the inspiration to express it to talk about it to acknowledge it and then doesn't that mean the momentum will become more and more and more and so